Nutraceutical beverages or functional beverages. These are very undefined and not specific from what I found. Depending on who you are, they can range from kombucha or probiotics all the way to energy drinks or smart water and even beer and wine were mentioned in one of the articles I found. A nutraceutical beverage or a functional beverage is a drink that's typically intended to convey a health benefit. Some include ingredients such as vitamins, minerals, herbs, amino acids, or additional raw fruit and vegetables. The first nutraceutical beverage I'd like to talk about is kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented, slightly alcoholic because of the fermentation, sweetened black or green tea. It has many chemical processes that do include that it produces acid as it ferments, that, and that lowers the pH. This preserves it from bacterial decay. Enzymes, which work as a catalyst, are also produced by the bacteria and fungi. This is crucial to the digestion process in fermentation. The benefits of kombucha include that, it, that they do contain polyphenols. These act as strong antioxidants and decrease inflammation, which can be the root cause of many diseases. They also provide B vitamins and essential minerals and organic acids, which help transport the polyphenols through the body. It also provides detoxification for the liver, which helps get rid of any undesired compounds. Some studies show that kombucha can lower cholesterol, lower blood sugar, um, decrease rates of cancer, improve liver and GI func functions, but some scientists say that you should only drink up to four ounces one to three times a day, or you could experience headache, nausea, or even GI distress. Another nutraceutical beverage that I'd like to discuss is kombucha with chia seeds. Chia seeds can add many benefits to your kombucha. Some of the benefits include that they do provide huge amounts of protein. When comparing the two, this one has zero grams of protein per serving, and this one has two grams of protein per serving. They are also a great omega-3 fatty acid source. They are high in potassium and calcium, high in antioxidants, and even provide weight loss support. They do this because they have the good fat in them, plus they have high fiber, which absorbs water and helps you feel fuller faster. They can also foster the growth of probiotics, which is the right bacteria to have. They can lower blood pressure when consumed regularly, and they can create strong bones and help with muscle growth. They do this because they have a high concentration of boron. Boron helps your body metabolize other minerals needed for a healthy skeletal structural system, such as magnesium, manganese, and phosphorus. They can even reduce the risk of cervical and breast cancer. They do this because they include the omega-3 fatty acid, alpha-lipoic acid, which is also known as ALA. This is present in high concentrations in chia seeds and is shown to limit the growth of certain cancer cells without having or limiting healthy cell growth. Probiotics are another nutraceutical beverage. They contain live microorganisms like the ones that occur naturally in the gut. They're intended to provide health benefits when consumed, and they generally do this by improving or restoring the gut flora. Some of the chemistry to probiotics include fermentation and respiration. These both involve the rearrangement of bonds within molecules and includes bond breaking and reforming. It also includes chemical reactions that convert carbohydrates into alcohols or acids as they release energy through the chemical reaction fermentation. Benefits of probiotics include that they aid digestion and help maintain gut health. They can also prevent many diseases such as irritable bowel syndrome, many types of infections, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and H. pylori. Another nutraceutical beverage that I'd like to talk about is drinking vinegar. Taste, this is a tasty drink mixer made with fresh fruit, vinegar, and sugar. Some of the benefits include that it improves blood sugar, protects your heart, kills bacteria, and boosts energy. It was previously thought of as a weight loss support, but there hasn't been enough research to support that. The next 
next nutraceutical or functional beverage I'd like to talk about is wine, because of course I want to know the benefits of wine. There are many contents in wine that can create many benefits. Um, one of them is resveratrol. This can reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes because it improves sensibility to insulin. It can also promote longevity by activating a protein that acts as an anti-aging agent. Resveratrol, along with procyanidins, can lower cholesterol and can even benefit blood pressure. Another ingredient in wine is silicon. This can increase bone density. High levels of silicon can also decrease your chance of osteoporosis. It also has many antioxidants, which can reduce the risk of cancer because they combat free radicals. It includes phenols, which reduce risk of stroke because they act as a blood thinner. Um, it can even improve cognitive functions. It is considered food for the brain and the chemicals in it prevent the brain's neurons from dying. It can boost the immune system by drinking moderate amounts of wine. It can ward off infections. It, it can reduce risk of heart disease as well. A 21 day study did prove that moderate intake did help with blood vessel health. Now, if you have high wine intake, it can do the exact opposite of all of these. The last nutraceutical beverage that I'd like to talk about is beer. And from the looks of this beer, the mountains aren't blue, so it's not ready to drink, but it definitely will work for this assignment. There are many nutrients in beer. Calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, zinc, copper, manganese, selenium, fluoride, and silicon. It does have an antioxidant profile as well. It can boost bone health because of the silicone, just like wine. It may improve cholesterol with moderate drinking of it, but not high. And it can even improve cognitive and psychological health. There was a study where light to moderate drinking in mid to late life equaled less cognitive decline as compared to not drinking and heavy drinking. It also can help reduce stress and tension and feelings of well-being, which we all know. The most interesting part about this being a nutraceutical beverage is the article I found it in was the most scientific article I found. Well folks, I think I found my nutraceutical beverage of choice and that's going to be my son of a berry wine made right here in Wyoming. It's pretty good. Thanks for listening.